There's what something to talk about. It might be the biggest political battle of all time, guys. It's Burger King versus Chipotle. Yep. <laughs> Shut up, let's talk the podcast where we do talk about everything under this godforsaken sun. My name is Alizar. Join along here with Jose. What's going on, guys? And there's definitely a thing to talk about today. There's what something to talk about. It might be the biggest political battle of all time, guys. It's Burger King versus Chipotle. It's like yep. the ultimate fighting game, like Titans fighting against each other. Marvel exactly. versus Capcom. Capcom versus SNK. Forget about Billary Clinton versus <laughs> Donald Ducks Trump. Don't even worry Funnel about Donald Trump. Final jump. It, it's 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 fine. <laughs> a funnel at the end of the day, guys. Chipotle. Chipotle is coming out with a burger place called Tasty Made. Okay, Burger King is getting really uncomfortable by this. <laughs> burger. <laughs> what happened with that? Yeah, yeah. So Chipotle. Okay, first of all, place. this is like okay, this is like a big spider web of uh, of controversy, a fast food controversy. Okay, Chipotle is apparently getting sued by a place called Tasty Burger. Because they're coming out with a burger brand called Tasty Made. They've already been issued a cease and desist, which they have ignored completely and uh they're we're like fuck it we're gonna go ahead exactly so they're like whatever we're chipotle we make we made a lot of money last year so what if people are afraid to eat with uh, at our establishment anymore because of the e coli breakout and, oh yeah and, that and was, the norovirus that was humongous that was a big big deal and they did lose a lot of money for that uh so you know what chipotle the e coli took over dude e coli takes over <laughs> like florida like, aliens like just like akon it, it's taken over um, oh shit guys Chipotle is getting sued by Tasty Burger. At this point, Burger King is getting uncomfortable. Burger King has come out with the Whopper Ito. The Whopperito, the Whopperito. <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to You said to that like an Aztec really quick. Whopper Ito. Whopper Ito. But you get the point. But you get it. So it's their like version of a burrito. It is their version of a burrito. Instead of having mayonnaise, they're going to have a queso sauce. No, they just happen to call it queso. And they did happen to call it cheese queso. sauce. Cheese sauce, probably you know, special to its point. Yeah. And it's going to be wrapped in a flour tortilla. All right, so the 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 Burger King burrito that nobody asked for. <laughs> Who cares about the burrito? Listen, when when they started experimenting, especially remember that uh, that one sandwich, the BK King. Mm. or a Big King, whatever the, the hell it was. The Big King, basically a it parody, a parody of the. It big wasn't Mac. that big. To me, it tasted very bland, and then. The Big King. I don't know. The Big King was a. It was just like a parody of the Big Mac. Right. And, you know and we, we talked about this one day. It was like maybe maybe it's a possibility that they we're making fun of the Big Mac. Exactly. And exactly right. Like the small size of the Big King. It's a lot of money to spend though advertising that thing. Though. It is a pretty. It is a pretty crazy tongue in cheek joke. Yeah. But, but it's hilarious if you think about it that way. At the end of the day, if that's what they were going for, which I hope they were. No, the Big King was a disappointment. And you know what? You know what was my favorite Burger King uh, little side sandwich that they did? Which one? The the stuffed jalapeno cheddar uh, Angus burger. Yeah. When that, it was made well, though. That was so really I went to some restaurants where it t- Well, no, no, no. It was this other jalapeno burger. Uh, was, the Angus, I, I, I loved, and, and that one especially, but... There were some sandwiches, at least as a reason, where it was like a jalapeno burger. Remember? What was it? Like the... Not the, the angry fiery, <laughs> The fieriest Whopper. What was it? Oh, the, the angry, angriest, the angriest, the whopper. fieriest whopper. It's basically the ang- the, yeah. the whopper in like Frieza's final form. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Dragon, Goku. Ball, like the uh, Dragon Ball uh, Battle of the Gods nowadays. Battle Golden God. Frieza. Oh, God. the red whopper. What are they? You know what? They're just like adding colors to their enemies and just calling. They it something are. New they're, nowadays. Look, they're literally doing the whole thing where kids just say, "Hey, you know what? Uh, Super Saiyan. You know, if you know Dragon Ball Super Saiyan, what is it? Ten exists, and it's just some dude who takes Super Saiyan three Goku and like." Just inverts his color. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> on MS Paint. <laughs> <laughs> Just a backwards image. Uh, anyway, yeah, going back the, the Chipotle deal. Do, do like, are you gonna? Obviously, we are gonna try the. We are gonna try it. Uh, but it's just I'm not even excited for it. I, I, you know, I purposely like right, but the, based on based on the BK King, just to really interject, like it just doesn't excite me, man. I like I like the sesame I love seed bun. Burger King. Don't get me wrong, Alizar and I do, but I don't know. 
I like the sesame seed bun because it soaks up all the mess that's that's in between it. You know, yeah. having a flour tortilla does not excite me in, at all. Yeah, because that's just like a thin layer of bread. That, I feel like it's going to be extremely messy, just like Chipotle's burritos are. I feel like they're like when I saw it at a glance, I thought there was like their version of a snack wrap. If it gets to that point where maybe it's like not such a humongous thing, <laughs> then you know it would not be the worst it would be like the the mcdonald's snack wrap yeah if they keep it simple and like you know on a smaller size but if they're making a burrito that's interesting and i don't know man whatever the controversy is interesting we're gonna see what happens. i'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt but it is pretty funny that burger king know. just happens to come out with this burrito right as soon as chipotle you know comes out with their burger establishment so it, it it's it's interesting to see the 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 business moves that burger king makes burger yeah. king is like the most one of the most sarcastic one of the most sarcastic fast food companies I've ever seen in my life. Sarcastic? What do you mean? Like, look at everything they do with the king. Like, their king mascot, where he's sleeping in the bed with you. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. There's been, like, like, let, like let, let, let McDonald's try to pass off Ronald McDonald waking up hey, in those, bed Hey, those cartoons you. are really funny. The BK King cartoons. They would be, like, every now and then. They were really funny. Them. You know, like, they're, 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 they're coming That's out. That's like with, their Ronald McDonald, yeah. They're extremely sarcastic. So they've got, like, the King, the Big King commercials. Then they came out with the Big King making fun of McDonald's, making fun of their biggest competition. Uh, they're just extremely sarcastic with their advertisements and their marketing and, and all the little business moves that they make. It's, it's yeah. really funny to think about. What are you thinking about? What's, what was your favorite thing from Burger King? For me, man, uh, you were you were saying earlier like a favorite side sandwich. Man, I remember when Shrek came out. They came out with this one sandwich called the sourdough bread. Uh, okay, I don't remember. Oh, that sounds my familiar. Favorites. It sounds familiar. That was one of my favorites. It was like you know you know sourdough bread. It was like, but the way they had cut it for the sandwich is like circular. So oh. like it was really, it's really like fluffy, but really good. Like you know, it was eatable and stuff like that, and <laughs> it was amazing. That sounds Amazing. good. I like that. They came up with some like back to school like like thing for the BK kids. It was like this green sauce. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. I don't want to think about apples. I don't want to go to school. Green sauce, yeah. <laughs> apple fries, kids. Eat this healthy apples stuff. Apples are good though. I do like apples. No, I love apples. Green apples are really good. They are. I love They're like apples. the like the sour version. Yeah, some people find them too tart for mm-hmm. eating, but mm-hmm. no, I like it. Sour tarty, yeah. I like sour food anyway. It is good. Yeah, or just like sour candy. You know, I'm down to try sour beer pretty soon. Uh Sours. I mean, I've had I have had one or two sours. Can't remember which one. I think I had one sour once. And I might know. have been drunk from another beer from that point, but I thought it was pretty good. Hmm. Suicide Squad reviews are not that good. No, they're not that good. At Rotten Tomatoes, apparently thirty percent, guys. Like they are furious. Sitting at a thirty percent, and the crazy thing about that, fans are petitioning to try to shut down Rotten Tomatoes. What is the point of trying to shut whoa. down the whole website? Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't know that. DC fans are petitioning to shut down Rotten Tomatoes. They believe it's a conspiracy to take down DC movies because Batman versus Superman Word? got such bad reviews. That that definitely did. That you know, definitely so did. they're believing DC. It's kind of disappointing. I mean, I didn't want to watch the movie. I For me, like, like, I, like, like personally, like, I, I do like comic books. Like, I like seeing them, maybe reading them once in a while. But I'm not a big fan of them. It's not for any reason, just because I've never really gotten into them. It's but too, too big of a but, universe. But for I me. do know for the fact that, like, yeah, something like Batman for Superman being fucked up, that sucks. Yeah. So Batman okay, they were going off on that, and well, they think it's a conspiracy. They think that, uh, yeah, they think that the fans are out to get everybody to, to get DC movies. They think they want Marvel to win. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. And okay, I see. It. So that's the whole thing. They want the. What is the point of? Okay, guys, stop and assess. Okay, what is the point of taking down the entire website? People write reviews for this. It's it's unbelievable to me. There's got to be more reasons than that, man. It's unbelievable to me that people can sign up for dumb shit like this. Obviously, I I mean, maybe they're doing it out of like it's like a you know a joke. You know, maybe they're just like, oh yeah, but you know, yeah, Rotten Tomatoes is really respected. At least at least for their reviews. And for anybody that does not know, Rotten Tomatoes is actually owned by WB. Yep. I and I found that out the other day. If I'm wrong about yeah. that, please let me know. But uh, if 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 my assumptions are correct, mm-hmm. they are owned by WB. So it's mm-hmm. it don't you know don't worry about it. Yeah, it's not some crazy shit like that. Speaking of an awesome show, man, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Have you have you guys been watching Stranger Things? If you have, please to, tell us about it. To Netflix original. You've seen the first episode. Saw the first episode today. So we're not going to spoil too much. Guys. It's awesome, and I'm dying to see the second one. 
Exactly. It's one of those, you know, it leaves you at a cliffhanger at the end. As it should. And you know what? If for me, and Jose knows this, uh, Jose's been trying to get me into Game of Thrones forever now. I just can't do I it. Have. You know, I've been trying to, I, I, I've not watched Breaking Bad. The man Bad. loves Lord of the Rings. I do. The man love loves like Rings. fantasy, like stories. It's awesome. I do. Actually. I always tell him, hey, man, you would love this. It's it true. has a certain realism to it. It's very gory, as you guys know. You know, if you haven't heard about Game of Thrones now, you're living under a rock, but it's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if you've not heard of it, I, I don't know where you guys have been. But, um, Nice to see you back from vacation. It's one of the best things of this time. It is pretty cool. Like so it's, the, it's, it's like whatever. The battle scenes I've seen are pretty wild. Yeah. But uh, I have not seen... Yeah, it always ends up like showing you those and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I've not seen uh, Game of Thrones. I've not seen Breaking Bad. No Walking Dead. No, right, uh, the bigger shows. But Stranger Things, on the other hand, if for anybody that does not know, Stranger Things is a... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know the town that it's set in, but it takes place... Me in neither. The early, it, it's a show that's set into a small town in the early 80s. Uh, the main group of uh, the main cast is, is a group of kids. Yeah, and it's got uh, very Silent Hill vibes. It's like a supernatural almost kind of thing. Uh, it's almost hard to describe. It all, it all starts with them playing what is like this Dungeons and Dragons type of game. Dungeons and Dragons. It, it it does very much appeal to like the nerd crowd. Yeah, like is it actually Dungeons and Dragons or it's just like a uh, made a variation of it? I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. They didn't use the name. Right, but right, right. There's not enough information in that first episode to like tell. Yeah, I mean, like I'm, all these certain things. Yeah, like I'm sure it has to be, but at the same time, they did use the Millennium. Oh, yeah. later you'll see <laughs> the, it, the Millennium Puzzle. Later you'll see a Millennium Falcon, and they won't, uh, you know, they, they they won't just. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, and they, and they don't mention Star Wars anywhere in it. So the, the that's I'm, awesome. That's an awesome, like little reference. Exactly. So to me, well, that's pro- what you're like telling me. It's like you gotta. And and I saw what you meant because uh, the audio in the episode, like some parts will be louder than others. Like, you know, characters will be speaking to my something lower or like the background noise while characters are speaking is going to be loud as shit, like mm-hmm. some wind. So I was like, wow, yeah, no, there's that point where you should use like headphones, at least if you're not reading subtitles. Yeah, actually like, see what's first- going on. The the first the first episode I actually did watch it with headphones on and I was I was actually really happy I did because it did grab me right into it mm-hmm. the audio engineering on the episodes by the way so wh- whoever's doing the audio engineering you got, you're doing an amazing job whoever's yeah, working man. with those bass frequencies I thought the same yeah unbelievable like really good uh, just really really good sound engineering um Talking amazing. it's an amazing show and uh, like I said I can't spoil too much for you yet because you've only seen the first episode yeah. I'm only up to episode six. And there's only you eight know episodes. how the internet is with spoilers and shit like that. Exactly, and there's only yeah. a, there's only eight episodes, which is why I really like the show. Right, I don't want to get too invested. You in know something. what was awesome? That had like six episodes. It was an anime. Was that Fully Cooly? Oh F-L-C-L. yeah. Did, oh, did it only have six episodes? Yeah. It was. It was a great. At that, least that first season, I believe. Yeah. That was a really good, confusing anime. Like I watched through it. I had no. I still can't tell you what. Sort it's of reminded about. me of that. It is really cool. Yeah. Uh, Stranger Things. Do definitely check it out if you're a fan of it's like awesome. Silent Hill. If you're a fan of, uh, I was stoked sus- with the first episode. If you're a fan That's of suspense, cool. horror type of things, and even there, there's a lot of comedy in it too. Like you know the the chemistry between. But the I like I like that. It's also thought provoking. They picked really good Love kids, that. and you know what's really cool? They did. They're good actors. They're good actors. Exactly, yeah. and you know I, it's been such a long time since we've seen movies that have like child actors as leads. You know, I feel like you know in the early '90s and the '80s that was a really big thing yeah. with movies like Stand by Me and all this kind of stuff. Absolutely, there true. was a lot of uh, you know child child leads back then. And then Home Alone, <laughs> Home Alone, <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> Amazing you know, one. a bunch of them. And then you know after a while they really I gotta watch those movies Hollywood, again too. Hollywood shied away from that after a while, so. Um, that is true. You know what? I didn't really notice. Yeah, so it, it's cool to see them going back to that. It's good that the child actors are so talented. They're, you know, they're they're just. It's an amazing show, guys. I, I I'm not going to spoil too much, but it's really good. Yeah, um, we were talking about earlier. It's like, oh damn, we can't spoil the story for the fans. Yeah, yeah, but and I will like, tell you, know, you, they're an amazing twists and turns. I coming from somebody who does not watch a lot of TV and movies. Uh, as somebody who's checking out some brand new stuff, it's really cool. Hey, let me tell you, man. You know, streaming websites like that, like Netflix, Hulu, um, HBO, the, they've been coming out with really quality original uh, TV lately. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Real quality TV. It is a Netflix original. Let's just Even get just that out a, of the aspect of just like producers putting their own spin on it mm-hmm. and just. Uh, I feel like I feel like the personally, there aren't many ideas that are new and fresh nowadays, but when it comes to uh, producers. Or, you know, writers of a show or a book or whatever, like, putting their own spin on things. It's only still being very fresh. It, it, you're it's completely awesome. right. I completely and, right. and what's going on in this in this show, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, I mean, even... With, I mean, I haven't seen any of the stuff, but I, even with... Like, like I said, the, and Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. But that is also based on a book that was started in the 90s, which is crazy. But go. now the directors are putting their own spins on it, like, with uh, seasons six and seven. Because they're ahead of the books. Which yeah. is a crazy thing for, like, a big show to, like... 
All right, everybody. Ep- shut up. Let's talk episode four. We're going through our first technical difficulties. Fucking song by Paul Gilbert, dude. That is a very good racer. Amazing song, man. We were in the middle of a conversation about Game of Thrones. Probably play that. I will play that somewhere in the middle of that song. <laughs> Jose was talking about uh, Game of Thrones and how season six and seven, the writers are changing up the storylines because there are spoilers all over the place. Right, right. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because nowadays, you know, people complain about how, you know, um, the writers of the books, they always have the right idea. Well, the good thing also about the show is that it's on HBO. Each episode is like an hour. It's episodes. So it's not like a movie that lasts two hours. Oh, yeah, a lot right. more freedom and stuff like that. I really like where they're going with the direction of the show. Creative control is a really good idea. And, you know, the thing about it, the, there are so many spoilers now, and they have such a fan base that kind of lingers on their every moment. Yeah. Lingers on their every next cliffhanger. So th- I guess at this point they're just having fun with the fans. So more power to them. All right. Uh, and they're, they're fans. And you posted the something about a, fantasy itself. You, you posted something about, like, a Twitter remark that George R. R. Martin made a while ago. Some, like, snarky Twitter remark to some fans that were oh, saying. Oh, yeah, he hates it. He hates it, man. Like, <laughs> well, he's been, like, he's made a lot of money from the fucking show. So he's been, like, just everywhere. He's been at cons. He's been all these places. And people are getting pissed at him because, like, it's like he's relaxing. But, you know, fans are just fucking hardcore, man. Well, they the always of, want what they want. At the end of the day, it's, they his can get cre- it. it's his creation. He can do whatever the hell he wants. It's a fucking life. Like, whatever. Really? He wrote some books because he liked it. it like, <laughs> he, he's known for not finishing stories, though. Well, that's I forgot thing. the name of the book or the books that I've heard of, but like he just he just stops. He just gets bored. Game of Thrones is too big a deal too. Well, so eventually I think he's going to write it. I think he'll write it within the next twenty years, if anything. And then fans are getting pissed off. It's like, you know, he's kind of old too. It's like, oh <laughs> like will he live that long to do it? Wow, fan <laughs> the fans are like throwing rocks at his window to finish writing. Like they're like trying to <laughs> that's the best way they could motivate him. They're sending him checks. They're sending, they're sending him, yeah. him health support. Oh my god! They just send, they just send him flowers and chocolates every day. <laughs> oh my god! Get on it, George 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 R R Martin. His name is so hard to say. <laughs> there was an there was a there was an interview with Tyrion uh, Peter Dinklage where he had said George R R R. He's like, oh, I put too many R's in there, Martin. It really it was though, good. Like, it was good. God. It really is a thing. Game of Thrones is coming to concert, guys. Do you guys? Did it's you, coming. Did you guys know to that? concert. Yeah, Ramin uh, Dejuani. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's coming down with uh, his orchestrations. You know, he's coming down with an orchestra and what he's composed, and he's having a live show. Uh, there's going to be – we are located in Miami, so there's going to be a yeah. show at the BB&T Center. Right. There's 28 cities that are um, that they're touring at, and one of them is at the BB&T Center in Miami. March 11th, right by my birthday. That's, it is going to be – there, there's no more beer, but we are going <laughs> to – technical difficulties messed it up, but we are going to – we're going to – It's a sad thing. We're going to empty Wait, cheers. must there chime you. on. But uh, – Game of Thrones concert, guys. For any big Game of Thrones fans, that's probably going to be pretty cool. It's a lot of you, I bet. And the music is actually one of the best things about yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah, if you guys have heard, like, the... season six, like, pff, well, man, his work there is fucking yeah. incredible. I don't watch the show. Light but... of the Seven song was amazing. Yeah. And, like, I don't watch the show, but every time I hear the music, that's the one thing that stands out to me yeah. a lot. Like, besides the cinematography, the music is just incredible. The orchestra. Fuck so, yeah, dude. And, uh, you know, we, we were talking about it. Uh, Hans Zimmer, he was, he was actually on yeah. tour. With one of our favorite guitars, Guthrie Govan. No way. Yeah, Hans Zimmer was. Uh, yeah, he was. They, he, they were doing. Uh, I think it was like a world tour, actually. Oh so, shit! Because I know that they were in Scotland, also. So yeah. Oh yeah, and you were you were saying um, Hans Zimmer. He was a uh, composer. You know, one of the composers at least in Pirates of the Caribbean. He composed Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. I'm sure he's done a lot of things that I cannot remember right now because I don't yeah. remember anything. That's hilarious. Does it make sense? Because uh, Guthrie Govan, a little while back, he uh, he came out with like these like lesson videos where he's playing pirate modes on a guitar oh, yeah. a guitar you have like a pentatonic scale like those are what like modes are like so to speak and then he has one where every note just sounds like you're in a fucking pirate ship it does sound like a pirate <laughs> scale <laughs> look up pirate scale by Guthrie Govan I'll put a little picture of it there totally it's great it's good stuff and you know it, we talked about this the with a melody just like you know anything just like a good story the beginning and the ending is, is really what you got to focus on you know like yeah. the, you can do a bunch of things in the middle uh, add all the details you want, uh, vague or detailed, but you can. But the beginning and the ending is really what's going to give you the idea. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, what the song's about and well, how it's going to close. Anyway, guys, it's shut up. Let's talk episode four. Uh, thank you so much for the response on the last episode. I guys, it's amazing what some Facebook advertisement does. I put five bucks down. I got like a thousand views out of that. That's pretty cool. It's awesome. But at the same time. They're not organic views. It, the organic views are you guys uh, that are actually commenting and liking and, and doing all the cool stuff. We definitely yeah. appreciate you guys. Well, the way that I see it is, like, it's, it's 
they're still helping you put your voting out there. It's up to the user to watch or not. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it makes you wonder it's how like, who are people... these guys? That's like saying it's posted. People are like, who the hell are these guys? Let's see exactly. what's happening. And exactly. If you guys like our show, like and subscribe. Well, you know, it's interesting getting into the YouTube game. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I, if you guys don't know Jim Sterling, you know, go ahead and follow him. He's an amazing yeah. video game critic. Um, Fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's really, really, really smart, too. And actually make music for Fist Shark Marketing, which is another awesome podcast you guys should check out. Um, the thing about the, him, I've, I looked up how many videos he did the other day, and he's done over 1,300 videos. Word? And, yeah, and in, when did he in, start? in a span of a couple of years. And um, when did he start his, uh, uh, his, his YouTube? Podcast? He really, he started, I started listening to him about five, six years, five years ago. Or, and so, yeah, yeah. so like you're living he's in been, he's VA, been, right? Yeah. But I was living in Virginia, in Virginia. He's done a lot of podcasts and, uh, I look back at his things and, and all it takes is consistency. You know, I look at, I look at our show and I've been trying to do this whole, you know, one episode a week thing yeah. and it's been working out really good. I really like that. And that's kind of what I want to continue on. So that's awesome. Thank you guys for the support is what the thank point of what so the hell much. we're talking about. You know, it was awesome, man, to get the other fucking day free food. Oh, you got free food at Taco Bell the other day. I did, dude. How the hell did that happen? Out of fucking nowhere, me and my friend were just uh, leaving, like a party and stuff like that. And we go to a Taco Bell late at night. And, uh, you know, we asked for order. There's like two total noobs, like, you know, like, help me out. And it's fine because I was a total noob that worked at Burger King before. And uh, the the ATM or debit card machine wasn't working. Oh. And they were trying to make it work for like five minutes. I think one of them was just like pressing his button like all violently. Like when I looked Sabotage. inside. <laughs> yeah, me and George were like, oh, fuck. Me and my friend. That's amazing. Actually, George, that was on a, a Damn, BR podcast. Out. What time What time in the morning was this? Like 5 in the morning, dude. 5 in the morning, credit card machine doesn't go down. Classic end time. Like, you, so I have a meal and then go to fucking bed. That's, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. And uh, yeah, they're just like, oh, here you guys. And it's fine because like, you know, they they usually like can compensate for food that's lost and stuff like that like from like fast food places, so. Yeah, they'll probably just ring it up the next day and then, you know, explain to their manager that the machine was down. Yeah. I think the last time I got free food, it was it was at a Red Lobster, actually. And, you yeah. know, normally that would actually sound really awesome, but this time it was the worst. Red Lobster's amazing. Red Lobster can be good. This time was not good. If you like lobster. Oh, no. If you like lobsters and if you like the color How red. Oh, is Red Lobster not good? Uh, what happened, man? What, <laughs> well, <laughs> what I, happened to you? What happened? Our server, <laughs> our server apparently, it looked like she had just, she looked like she had just been released from prison earlier that day. <laughs> She was stuck in between. Well, that's fine. She was stuck in between helping us out and the table next to us. That was like a table, a party of eleven. So uh, she was a little busy. Uh, we ended up getting our soup cold. Our uh, some of our dishes came out of order. It was just like a mess. Our food was all. You're, you were within the party of eleven. No, no, not at all. We were on the side, but next no. to us was a party of eleven that she was also helping. How, how, what were they like? Did you like see any of the reactions? Were they were they kind of pissed off uh, too? Or at well, all, or? I mean, they should be pissed off because they're a party of eleven that showed up. So it's like, but I'm saying they were all collectively like, "Fuck, where's our food?" Yeah, I mean, the, well, the thing is, she was helping them out, so they were okay. Oh, okay. But you know, they were the party of eleven that she was helping for the big tip on, whereas the party of two next to her, she could, you know, she, she couldn't be bothered. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we ended we ended up having to complain. The manager came in and comped our food. Uh, I mean, it was understandable. Yeah, she was busy, and, and, you know, it's one of those crazy nights for her. I get it. But, uh, you know, it, it was cool that we were able to get a free meal out of it. So oh, It must be so stressful for her. Yeah, I must have been. I mean, I'm sure she must have gone home and uh, drowned in alcohol. So that, that, that's probably what happened. Uh, guys, there'd be. It showed up. Let's talk episode four. We actually, you know, we went through, like, a technical difficulty. We re-recorded this last bit. It was a good time. It was, it was fun. funnier last time. But we, this is pretty good. It was funnier last time. We were debating <laughs> not keeping it, but you know what? I refuse to give you guys no, media No, that's fine. It's fine. I, exactly. I won't do it. I will not. I can't do it. But. It cannot happen. It's a good time. Like, I was talking. I was like, you know this? And I was like. That means he was animated. Guys, <laughs> thank, you so, thank you so much for joining us on episode four. Please join us next time. I don't know I what the hell we're going to talk about next week. Maybe we'll talk about fast food again. But let's see. Let's see if uh, Burger King's uh, burrito, Whopperito. Let's see if it makes everybody sick. Like an endearing name, a Whopperito. Whopperito. <laughs> let's see if it makes everybody let's sick see if or it not. Happens. Yeah. It probably will. Let's see if it hopefully kills the population. If it's anything like Chipotle, that's what it'll do. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on episode four. If you guys want to follow me, it's at Alizar Chan. If you guys want to follow the podcast, which you should, it's underscore shut up. Should let's happen. talk. We've got the Instagram going, we've got the YouTube going, we've got the website, we've got the Facebook, we've got the everything, okay? So follow us on the everything. The everything, Graham. Jose, where can they follow you? You guys can follow me under uh, Jose CG 
in uh, Twitter. Good stuff, guys. Until next time, holler back at us. We are not no holler back girls. Love, peace, chicken grease. Bye-bye.